The biggest mindset shift that we've had to take on is that we used to create content. Then we got into the business of curating content, and now we have to co-create content. A lot of people on these New York City streets, a lot of potential customers to advertise to. But in the age of digital disruption, if you don't learn how to speak to your customers in the way they want to be spoken to, you're just blowing a lot of hot air into the digital ether. Gone are the days when marketers could rely on a one-size-fits-all marketing campaign. Omnichannel means multi-voice, and many modern businesses today are giving some of their brand-building responsibilities to an unlikely voice, the customer. Six years ago, marketing was all about how do you design a direct mail piece, but now it's about what technology solutions can I apply to get that right piece of creative to the right audience? This year, uh, the most exciting thing that happens in marketing is establishment of word of mouth as the most powerful media. <laughs> and that is a challenge because we're actually working directly with our customers, consumers, buyers, so that they feel a part of our campaigns, they feel a part of our messaging. And that is a drastic shift. And that shift is changing the way marketing executives solve key projects. According to Bizarre Voice, a technology platform that shares opinions of customers to brands and retailers, 64% of millennials and 53% of baby boomers want more options to share their opinions about brands. While other studies show consumers trust user-generated content 50% more than all other forms of media and find it 35% more memorable than other forms of media. And I know we've heard customer experience before, but it has never been so elaborate because it's online and offline. I think we have been swinging the pendulum on, uh, you know, all uh, digital a few years ago, and now back to it's important like consumer-generated content, like testimonials and ratings. Seventy percent of the word amount is happening uh, in the physical world, so I think that's a one big challenge is actually to find the perfect balance. 